Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How does military service work? Enlistment process. To join the military, you start by talking to a recruiter who will guide you through the enlistment process. You'll need to visit a military entrance processing station, MEPS, to complete the necessary steps. Eligibility requirements. You must have a high school diploma or a general equivalency diploma, be at least 17 years old, and a U.S. citizen or permanent resident. You also need to speak, read, and write English fluently and achieve the minimum score on the Armed Forces Qualification Test for your chosen branch. ASVAB Test. You'll take the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery, ASVAB Test, which helps determine the careers you're best suited for. The test covers standard school subjects like math, English, writing, and science. Physical examination. A physical exam is required, which includes height and weight measurements, hearing and vision tests, urine and blood tests, and drug and alcohol tests. This ensures you meet the physical requirements for military service. Career selection. After passing the ASVAB and physical exam, you'll meet with a service enlistment counselor to determine your job specialty based on your ASVAB scores, physical requirements, and your preferences. Oath of Enlistment. Once your career is determined, you'll take the Oath of Enlistment, where you vow to defend the U.S. Constitution and obey the Uniform Code of Military Justice. Family members can attend this ceremony. Basic Training. You'll attend basic training, which typically lasts between seven to 12 weeks, depending on the branch of service. This training prepares you physically and mentally to become a member of your branch. Service commitment. Most enlistments require a specified period of service, which can vary from two to six years of active duty, followed by time in the Individual Ready Reserve, IRR. For example, an initial eight-year service commitment might include four years of active duty and four years of IRR. Roles and responsibilities. Enlisted members are technical experts and leaders, while officers are trained as managers and leaders who plan missions and assign tasks. Enlisted members start as junior personnel and can rise through the ranks, with pay and responsibilities increasing as they advance. Advanced training after basic training, you'll attend advanced training and possibly additional training to learn your specific job skills. This training is crucial for your role in the military. Reserve and Guard Options After completing your active duty service, you can choose to extend your service, join the Army Reserve or Army National Guard, or start a civilian career. These options offer different paths for continuing your service or transitioning to civilian life. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below and feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.